Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It has been quite a long time since I filmed anything. Um, and the reason why is just that I've kind of been dealing with some personal issues, like, with myself. Like, you know, I have my own issues or whatever that I'm trying to work out, but, um... I'm here today to film and kind of do like a get ready with me type thing where I talk about stuff. So, if you would like to see what I'm doing or, you know, find out what where I've been, then go ahead and keep on watching. First thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to prime my eyes because I like to do my eyes first. So, I'm just going to do that. So, I've just been like dealing with, I have a new job, well a newer job. Um, I, I started it like around the first of the year and the schedule is kind of crazy and um, I've been getting used to that. And then I've also just really, like, been struggling with my self-image a lot lately. Um, and that can be, like, a total killer for me. Because, like, I had been, like, dieting and exercising and whatnot. And I was feeling really good. And then I don't really know what happened. I just kind of started feeling kind of crappy like about myself like in general and I guess I was just beating myself up a little bit too hard about it maybe um first thing I'm gonna do real quick I'm using my fetish palette today and I'm gonna try to use solely this unless I bring in like a single eyeshadow or something but I'm going to go in with this right here, Fixation, which is that really pretty um, transition shade. And I'll zoom in a little bit. So, I am someone who struggles a lot with self-image. And I have a hard time, like... letting go of negative feelings towards myself, I guess. Um, like, it's just difficult because I kind of struggle with body dysmorphia. So, I don't really know if what I'm seeing or who I'm seeing you know, is accurate. I just, like, I'll feel really good, and I'll be like, wow, I'm doing so good, I'm losing so much weight, I'm doing this, and then, like, the next day I can be like, who are you? What What is going on? Is this really your body? Is this really your face I don't know it's kind of a disaster it's kind of a mess and I struggle with it a lot so it's really difficult you know going through something like that especially when people don't really understand it like it's it makes things a lot more complicated, so... Use the same... The same brush and go into Sex, which is this yellow eyeshadow. And I'm just going to make... Just put it on the outside of that um, color and bring it up over my crease and 
But anyway, so getting used to a new job and trying to like figure out what I want to do in the future, you know, like as a career and stuff like that has been kind of like on my mind lately. And I think I've kind of figured out what I want to do, but at the same time, I can't be like, I want to be excited about it, but I can't because I'm afraid that something might get in the way and I won't be able to do it. So, um, that's kind of difficult. Go into suspension, which is this like chocolatey brown. This out here in the outer corner crease area. Take a little bit with a flat brush of that same color and kind of lightly place it on my lid. darker look today so okay so in the very outer crease I'm going to take rubber which is the black in the palette and I'm just gonna start like deepening this area up Okay, so I'm just kind of doing that right now. Um, and I'm going to go back to the flat brush that I had. And it's cleaned off a bit now. And I'm going to use Whip, which is... It's like a brown with like gold and like pink and purple and gold sparkles in it. It's really interesting color. And I'm going to put that on the majority of my lid. Oh wow. This is why I love makeup. I don't know if this is going to transfer under the camera, but it's so pretty. Take a little more of that yellow and I'm going to kind of brighten that a bit up here and kind of blend it in with that color. But I'm also going to take that medium shade that we used and I'm going to blend that in with it as well.
concealer on, it might get kind of drowned out by, um, you know, everything that's going on. So, I'm going to go back with this brush. Well, no, actually, I'm going to use a smaller brush. I'm going to use this brush, which is like a pointed pencil brush. It's a little bit bigger than your average one. And I'm going back into that brown suspension, and I'm just taking it right in between the yellow and that very dark brown and blending them together. I'm just blending those together as best I can. I'm not adding any more yellow. I'm just using what's left on the brush to get those to blend together really smoothly. Okay, so I got my ears and I feel fine now. I feel like my ears, like, they're like my alter ego or something. So, um, I'm also going to take a little bit of this Tarte Maracuja oil and put that on a couple areas of my face. I mostly need it on my forehead because that's where my skin tends to be the driest and on my chin. And I just want to put a little bit on the cheeks. Okay, so... I'm using my Juno sponge. I got these for Christmas from my boyfriend, and I really love them. Um, <clears throat> they definitely need to be broken in a couple times, like, before, you, like, you can see how it really works, at least in my opinion. Like, because the first couple times I used it, I really didn't like it, but I have been loving it now that it's, like, been used a couple times. So, I'm going to use my um, Huda Beauty Foundation and Milkshake. And I know it says not to apply it to the sponge, but that's how I like to do it, so judge me. And everything. I've also, uh, like, in between, like, you know, dealing with my self-image and a new... A newer job um, I've been getting like eye infections on and off and that I like to attribute to Accutane forever screwing up my eyeballs because I never got eye infections before Accutane. The very first eye infection that I had was in middle school and um, that was my fault because I was sleeping in contacts that I wasn't supposed to sleep in and um, it caused me to get an infection which really sucked but um, that was the only time I had an eye infection before Accutane. And then I got on Accutane and I um, got my first, like, random kind of eye infection from being on it. And your body is a lot more sensitive when you're on Accutane. Uh, <clears throat> so... Upon dealing with that and everything, afterwards my eyes were much more sensitive and I got my first um, eye infection 
last year, I believe it was when I was off Accutane. So I'm going to use a little bit of it just under my eyes. I am not going to use it on the rest of my face because I don't like it on the rest of my face. I just think it works fine under the eyes with this foundation. So I'm going to blend it out. That I have that done I am going to use my fit me powder and because my powder brush is dirty I'm going to use this brush which I'm sure it's a blush brush technically but you know so I'm just gonna use it to set this face of mine I just got in BoxyCharm as well. It's the Cover Effect Perfecting Face Palette. And I, at first I was like, oh, I'm getting a contour and highlight palette that's not going to work for me because I'm really pale and that's just not going to work out. But um, this is actually so perfect for my skin. Um... Not really as a contour per se, but more like as a, not really a bronzer either. Just something to add color and dimension to my face. Um, it looks dark, but it's not as dark as it looks. And it's just so good for my skin tone. The I got this in a boxy charm like last year. This is the Make Them Blush Hush Blush by Pretty Vulgar, and um, it's one of my favorite blushes. So I'm just gonna use the same brush that I applied that Cover Effects stuff with. A bit. Okay, so back to the eyes. I've got that stuff down. I am going to get back into my fetish palette. And once again, I'm going to go over the yellow because I did get some foundation in the yellow, which kind of toned it down. And I want it to stand out, so I'm just going to add that back. That whip color along this lash line.
Yellow eyeliner and punch by ColourPop in my waterline because I love this eyeliner. Okay, so I added my piercings and I lined my lips with this Jean de Bleu um, spice lip liner. And I used the Nude Stick in Greystone, finally, because I thought this would play really well with this eye look, and it does. So I used that. Um, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner now to um, line my lash line to give that some definition. Okay, so this is the finished look. I finished it off with just a couple little details that I kind of decided to add last minute. And I used the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on my lashes, which is my favorite. And I finished it off with Gold School by Kat Von D. And that's pretty much it. So... Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.